Hello Doolies, it's the Dooley one here, and have you ever wanted to make a video game and then show your parents and be like, Mom, Dad, look, I made this video game, and for them to ha and for them to come up and say, Wow, that's so cool. How'd you do that? My son's a genius. Well, um, Unity can help you do that. So today, um, I will be teaching you how to make a very extremely, unbelievably basic game in Unity. Um... Unity is a free program. There is like Unity Pro and stuff. All you gotta do is go to unity.com and uh, you can download it. Like just type in the Unity in Google and it, it'll come up with it. The current version is Unity 4.0. I'm using this on a Mac. Um, and for Unity, you can make games for everything. For Mac, Windows, Linux, Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Wii, um, Android, iPhone, etc. You can make games for almost anything, and um, today I'll be teaching you, like I said, just how to make a very extremely basic game, and for people to be like, whoa, how'd you make that? You must be some extreme, awesome video game maker who spent a week researching this. <laughs> but really, all you have to do is watch this video. Um, so yeah, first, uh, so download Unity, just, you know, just type in Unity on Google. I'm currently using Unity 4.0. Um, and like, and uh, when you open it up, it'll come up with like a pre-made folder that someone already made a game with. You can play around in that and stuff. Um, now, it might lag for me because I'm using a really crappy computer. Um, well, it's not crappy; it's just old. Um, please ignore any background noise you hear. <laughs> um, all right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to say "new project." And um, when you see "new project," uh, just select everything. So it'll select everything from Water Basic. The character controller. You be sure to select character controller. In fact, um, and you can name, put it wherever you want, name it whatever you want. Just uh, you know, check all these. And uh, when that's done, importing everything, you should have just a blank thing. Now, uh, now you might be want. Now your layout might not look like this. You might not have your scene here. You might not have your game here. You might not have all this stuff here. Uh, you can arrange it however you like. I, uh, the way you do that is you just like grab the tab and then you can like drag drag it around. So like you can like put it anywhere. So I, I could have that there if I wanted, but I like it right here. And then I like uh, to not give the inspector that much room, and to not give that as much room, and to drag that, not to give that nearly as much room. And uh, so like this and there. That's how I like it. So and then and then you can drag this around and if you don't have any of these tabs you can also like, click on this thing and add tab. So that's so you can get a layout like this like me if you want. I think this is the most efficient. Um okay. So now that you have your whole layout the way you want it, we have these buttons. You have this button that can be used you can just like uh click and drag to move around and you have this button which can move uh, be used to like move things up and down sideways and like it this is used to change the x y and z. The X, you know, if you don't know what that is, then you, prob you should probably find out what they are or not watch this video because it involves a lot of that. Um, and then this is the tool to rotate things if you have things. And I actually don't know what this is. I'm still a noob to this, so I mean, don't expect this to be some extreme tutorial how to make a Call of Duty in Unity. Um, I shouldn't say that. Battlefield. I don't like Call I think Call of Duty is repackaged duty. I think it's the same game every year. Okay, but enough of that. Let's create terrain. Let's create some terrain. So now that you have, now that you've created some terrain, uh, you just want if 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 it's not if it's not already, you want to set the position to zero zero zero, and you can change the scale to whatever you want. I'm just gonna change mine to 50, 50, and fifty. All right. So after you have all that selected, um, oh, and by the way, if if you want to like look around at different angles, like 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 do this, like like you see what I'm doing, how I'm kind of like changing it, so I'm looking at it like like I can like rotate around it instead of just moving around the scene. You just have to uh, use the uh, right click button on your mouse instead of left clicked. Okay, so um, if you hit play game, nothing happens because you don't have a character. Um, and uh so yes uh and also you'll need light so you, to add light you can just go into uh, game object and um i mean i think all these are pretty uh self-explanatory uh directional light will point light in a specific direction point light will uh just uh it, it, it won't 
point light or anything, um, point light will just, like, like, have a single light source that will just spread light, uh, to everywhere around it. Spotlight, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, and I think area light just lights up the area, but I like to use directional light because it makes a lot of things look pretty. So directional light, where is our directional light? Oh, and to zoom out and in, you can use the scroll wheel. Okay, so it doesn't matter where the directional light is on the map, all it matters is what direction it's facing. So, you can do stuff like that, you can rotate around like that. So, yeah, let's, let's just have it like that for now. And, uh, and, and you still can't control it, but now you can see we have a lit up surface. But that might look a little bit weird. So, uh, so let's see. If, if you want to, like, give yourself a game object, if you want to be able to walk around your scene, which I'm sure you do, you can, you can either have a third person controller or a first person. For this, for the uh, purpose of just being super simple and being a real, and uh, not really knowing anything about this that good, I'm just going to go into first person. So, you, so there, you have your first person controller. See, so you, you got a little camera and you got a little cylinder there. And you can, and if your character's in the ground or not where you want them, you can just use these things to move them around. All right. So now that you have your character, see if we jump into the game. See, we can look around and walk around now, just because it's a pre-made first-person controller. It's really handy. Um. Okay. So now, um, I'm assuming you want to make your terrain not just be white. So, um, if you imported all the packages that I told you about, then Unity will uh come with this uh. A uh, ton of already made textures, free to use in Unity. So, um, you want to click on your terrain, and you want to have your inspector open. You want to click on this little paintbrush, and then um, you want to edit textures, add texture, and select a texture, and scroll down until you find the texture you want. The texture that I want to use is oh, and if you use grass, it's just going to be like grass. This isn't uh, grass. Isn't like grass on the ground. Um, I'll explain what grass is, like, what this texture is meant for later on in the video, but, um, you want to use, like, flat textures like this, like, good dirt, grass and rock, and grass hill, not textures like this. Alright, so select the one you want, um, and say add texture, and it will make the whole map this, uh, this whole map, the whole map this texture. So let's play the game, and see, look at that. Now, now the ground has a texture, and that's really pretty. But you might notice our sky, I mean, it's blue, but it's not really a sky. Um, the way you can do this is you can go into, um, I'm pretty sure it's in edit, um, render settings, and then in your inspector you'll come up with this. You can enable fog if you want, and then change the fog color. You can change a lot of stuff in here, but to give your, to give your, um, you can also change the flare strength. I'll explain what flare can do later on in the video. Um, uh. But to change, but to make your sky, like to actually give you yourself a sky, there's this thing called skybox material. Now you can click on this little dot here, and it'll bring you to this, and it'll, you'll see all these over here. Uh, you can find the uh, sky you want. Like, see, this is a uh, eerie sky. That's a little bit creepy. Um, probably don't want flame. Um, let's see. Let's see. What's overcast sky? No, you don't want that. Maybe that? Ooh, no, I don't think I want that. Um, nope, not, don't want that either. Uh, overcast. Nope. Uh, I'm looking for sunny sky. Um, sunny sky, sunny sky, sunny sky. You can also type in up here. Let's see, let's type in sun. Sunny. Ooh, that's sort of nice, but that doesn't really match how light our scene is. Eh, that's, that, that matches better, but... Um, hmm... You know, let's uh, have that just for the purpose of this video. And um, so now you go into your game and look at you have a sky and it's so beautiful. And um, it's not a very good sky. I mean, it's not perfect, but um, and I mean, it's good enough, though. It's good enough for the just sim simplicity. All right. And I mean, it, you might notice your map's a little bit flat and plain and boring and people will be like, wow, you have a flat uh game. Nice. I'm gonna go watch TV. And that, but to make it more interesting and make it look like you did a lot more stuff, you can go into this terrain, you can go into this uh, raise slash lower terrain and it's got a picture of the mountains going up. Alright, and you can select however you want to like raise the terrain. You can raise it in a star, you can raise it in all these weird 
ways. I to make this a basic like better not flat terrain, I like to use this one. And and then you just go around and just like drag your mouse around and you go do 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 to making a not flat terrain. Making it so pretty. And then you can make like a really big mountain with you can go over here and just make like a huge mountain of prettiness. You, you just gotta click rapidly and then you're making a pretty, pretty mountain. And now you got a beautiful mountain. And, uh, and you're, uh, in the process of doing this, your character probably went under. He probably went under. We lost a man, uh, overboard. Uh, okay. So, but what you can do is you can grab your character and just raise him up until in your little game menu, you can actually see him above the surface. Alright, so if you hit play, look at this. We got this beautiful, beautiful mountains. So it doesn't look plain. And people were like, wow, how do you make this? This must have taken you now, like hours, when it took you 10 minutes in, re in reality. So look at how beautiful this is. You have yourself a nice little um, uh, hill area. And then, and then you got your big mountain that you made over there. And that looks really pretty. It looks like Skyrim or something. Um, and so now that you have your beautiful Skyrim land, you can... You, but it's pretty plain still. It's quite uh, boring. I still my dead. Um, oh, one thing that I know everyone wants. Go to your directional light. Uh, I don't really know what this does. Draw Halo. Oh, by the way, if you guys uh, did buy Unity Pro, if you do happen to have Unity Pro for some reason, I have Unity Basic. Uh, you can go to Shadow Type and choose what kind of shadow you want since I don't have it require real time sh to require real time shadows you need unity pro I don't have unity pro so I still have to stick with no shadows but you probably want your light to have some lens flare ah uh, and then max knows how I love lens flare don't you max and um <laughs> um so select your lens flare you can just go into here and uh and you can select all this stuff now um Obviously, if you want it to be, if you want, if if you want it to look like a sun, then you want to have sun. But I mean, really, if you want video games to look realistic, you tend to over exaggerate on the lens flare. You make the lens flare really dramatic. So what I like to do is I like to do 50 millimeter zoom lens flare. So um, I select that. You can select whichever lens flare you want. You can test it out. And now, when you look at, let's see, where's my directional light? Um, is that? Really the one I wanted? I don't know. Where? Oh, so I guess. Oh, hmm. So we need to change that directional light thing. But look, but look at how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. And you can change the directional light to where the sun really is. Let's see. Let's do that real fast. Let's just do that real fast. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I might speed this part up. Ah, okay. There we go. So now we have a beautiful lens flare that's actually where the sun should be. So you have this pretty, actually, pretty map. It's uh, quite beautiful. You have your lens flare. Oh, yeah, lens flare. And um, that looks very pretty. And you actually have it where your sun should be. So you have these clouds, lens flare, and a beautiful map. map. Um, but and it's pretty, just still pretty bland. Um, if, you're, if you want to make it look like it's not just a big, old, boring map that's got, like, nothing to it, and it, you can just walk right off the edge. You can add some like mountains around the sides to make it look like you can't walk off the edge. So uh, I'm gonna do that real fast and see you in a second. All right, hey dudes. So sorry I had to speed up this part. Uh, it's, I, I I wouldn't have been able to make the video all in this uh, all in this uh, one part if I didn't do this. Um, okay. But so what you saw me do there is you saw me go into the tree tool right there. You saw me edit trees, add the palm tree texture I wanted, and then just place the trees all over the map. So, um, yes, that's one thing you can do to make it pretty. You, if you put the trees on mountains, it makes it look super pretty. All right, so, but for, for the purposes of my computer, I can't have the grass and the trees on at the same time because it's too laggy. So I took off the trees, but you can keep them on. So you find the grass texture you want. This is the grass texture that will actually be sticking up off the ground. So not the grass texture you use for your ground. And you can change the grass uh, color, the healthy color, and the non-healthy color to whatever you want. And then place the grass everywhere and anywhere you want. So I was just doing that all around where I am. So uh, that made our computer lag because grass will, if you have a crappy computer, will make your computer lag. So now um, you saw that. You saw how the grass makes it all look pretty. So that's the end of the tutorial. So uh, yeah. So